guys, welcome to the next installment of Frustrating Games. Now, this game is another Commodore 64 game. Um, apparently a lot of my frustrating games I played are on the Commodore 64. Um, so this one is, uh, it's an odd title. It's one of those, like, lesser known, I don't know how many other systems it was on kind of titles. Um, it was made by a company called Master, is it Masteronic or Mastertronic or something? And I remember that, that title and um, that company had a bunch of you know, interesting games um, that I played quite a bit on the Commodore 64. Um, I'm not really familiar with them outside of that system. So, uh, But yeah, this game is, I, I just remember when I found it in the store, it was one of those games I was, you know, I was just kind of looking through the bins that they had. Um, these weren't expensive games. These were like the cheaper bins. And this one came in like, you know, a cheap plasticky case and stuff. It was just literally just a disc inside with a piece of paper and uh, kind of had the uh, picture of the game on the back. And I thought the picture on the back made the game look cool. So I'm like, hey, this looks interesting. It looks like a lot of fun. And it wasn't a lot of money. So I picked it up. And uh, yeah, I started playing it and uh, I realized it was kind of hard. And it, I, I think it took me quite a while when I was younger to even complete the game. I think it, it took me a while to even just make it to the third level. And there's only three levels. So, yeah, I'm going to pick that up again, and I'm going to play some Magic Carpet on the Commodore 64. Okay, so we're firing this game up now. Um, I'm using the emulator, but it it's pretty much the same idea. I remember a lot of this stuff. It gives you all these options. You can go through, uh, it kind of tells you the story a little bit. Uh, I don't really care. <laughs> and we're going to move on. So it says pr press C to cheat or space to start. That, I don't know what cheating is. I don't want to cheat. So this is the, uh, this is what I remember. Uh, playing that little Land of Oz song, you know. In the Land of Oz where the ladies have no bras. Wait, no, that's not it. Uh, it's something like that. And, yeah, so you're kind of going through this little spot here where you don't want to get hit by these... Like, looks like orbiting planets. I don't know what they are. I... Oops. Now, here's the problem. This guy is very delicate. He's flying on his carpet. Anything he touches, he dies. Like that. And then your lives just run out, and then it's game over. And usually when I would die on the first level, I would just be like, screw it, and just... Get rid of all my guys and start again. It's not worth it. Whoa. See what I mean? So timing is a thing in this game. I just remember when I when I oh jeez when I saw this in the store. Like back then, there was a lot of Commodore 64 games. Uh, I remember anyways going to like I think the store was Kmart that I went to the most. Because it was very close to my house, or the closest to my house, anyways. And I'd be looking at all the different, you know, in television games, Commodore 64 games. And this one was in one of those little clear cellophane, 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 cellophane type of packets. Um, just had like a graphic on the front. So it was called Magic Carpet, and I looked in the back, and then I saw. I think it showed all three levels, too. And I thought it looked kind of cool. I'm like, oh, look at this. It looks kind of neat. But little did I know how frustrating this game actually is. So now this part is really annoying. If you notice the bat, I don't know if that's a bat or not. I don't know. Maybe it's not a bat. But whatever that thing is that's flying around at the top there, you got to time it that you're going to get up to the top and that thing's not going to get in your way. But you also can't hit those bars that are flying up. So you gotta be like, it's almost like luck. Like you see, I just pushed up and it was luck that I didn't get hit by that thing. But then that guy at the top is blocking. So you almost have to wait till he's like going to be at the far right. So then when you get up to the top there, you can fly over to the right and get down. But then you got that other guy that's flying around at the bottom and you don't want to hit either. So, I'm gonna wait till he's like on his way over here. Oh. oh. Ah. See? 
That, that, it, it's like all timing, like, it's just timing, that's all it is. Which I'm pretty terrible at. See, this one I can kind of get by, you know, getting by that thing and then waiting for this saw-looking thing to kind of go in and get to the door, that's, that's okay, but... You know, I see this guy, and I gotta, like, time it that... Okay, I made it now, am I gonna hit him? I hit him. Oh my goodness. Okay, so... When can I go? Oh, no. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh, I'm gonna hit him, I'm gonna get... Oh. Okay, maybe this is gonna do it. So, gotta go down quickly. No! No, no, no! Try this again. There's a reason why I call this frustrating games. <laughs> and you know, these games weren't, you know, compared to say Nintendo, these are only like three level games. Like, there's only like three levels to this thing. Ugh. But it's all timing and precise movement and just to get through three levels. Because everything that this poor guy hits kills him. to figure out exactly when to go, like when... Uh, that wasn't it. Am I gonna hit him? Okay. So I just made it through him. Okay. So now I have to get down to that area here. Okay, I'm gonna hide up here. I have to touch this. This is gonna like warp me over to the other side here. Now I have to worry about this guy and those other two bats, or flying things or whatever they are. So I'm gonna go down. I kinda gotta figure out his pattern, right? That wasn't it. It's not like other games where, you know, they they disappear after you get hurt by them. Like, they actually stick around. This definitely has to be one of the more frustrating games I've ever played. I thought Mikey was bad, but this one, this one probably takes the cake. It's all just timing. I don't know, maybe I'm just not a patient enough player to, uh... Oh, I just died. Maybe I'm just not a patient enough player yet to wait for the timing to be perfect. Ugh. Okay, let's see if I can, uh, time it properly. No, I don't think that was right. Nope. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to come a little bit closer to me. And at the same time, hope I... Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna sneak down here. on the top, bottom, kind of like a space invader, and then he comes back up again. So if I go down, I gotta be quick, I think. I think that's, that's the dilly there. That's the dilly. Oh, you didn't. Ah, rage quit, rage quit, rage quit. Let's try this again. Oh, got it. Holy crap. Now I got this dragon thing spitting at me. No! Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Okay, now we got rain. Rain! Okay, we got dragon spit and rain. I don't know if I'm ever gonna beat this. Uh, oh, the bat! Oh! So, as you can see, I mean, I, it, it did take me quite a, a few tries to, to get anywhere. In fact, uh, what you saw was a lot of editing because it did take me quite a while. I mean, there, there were so many times where I just kept losing it on the first level, and then I'd finally get to the second level, and you see I was having a hard time on the... I mean, even just that first part of level two, where you have to, like, connect with that, that thing that's going up, 
uh, kind of looks like an escalator or something. You got to like get in the middle there. And uh, I mean, it, it to me, it's all chance. It's like literally you just got to go and hope you get up there. Your only timing really is that bat thing that's going back and forth. You just got to pay attention to that. But hitting one of those bars, it's just luck. And then, uh, I mean, the rest of it was pattern. You get that you figure out the patterns and stuff and then you slowly get through. And it did take me quite a while to get to level three. I was, I was really glad I actually made it to level three. That was the only time I made it to level three. So that's the only footage I have of it. And I didn't get very far. I, I got to where that raindrop, the acidy raindrop thing and the dragon that was spitting fire. And I mean, it's an interesting game. It's too bad it's only three levels long. Uh, it's the kind of game that you'd expect to see have like tons and tons and tons of levels, but it doesn't. And, uh, you know, once you complete it, you get that magic lamp takes you right back to the first level. Uh, I haven't played it in so long, uh, so it was kind of fun playing it again, uh, but frustrating at the same time. Anyways, that's my frustrating video for today. Um, I have a bunch of other titles rolling around in my head, but if you have any uh, suggestions of frustrating games, always feel free to sh throw them at me, and um, you know I might consider it. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think of Magic Carpet, and uh, how bad I did, or how good I did depending on how you want to uh, look at it. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.